Welcome to a brand new podcast. And this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. For any business inquiries, if you want to put your business on this platform, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. And that's the same email if you want to make a free will offering through our PayPal account. Again, that's evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. You can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. We have an online shopping mall with a wide range of products from men's, kids, ladies, clothing, furniture, tools, house products, etc. Over uh, 20,000 products, so you have a lot to shop. You can shop to your job. Also, check out Evolution of London at... well www.evolutionoflondon.org O-R-G We have custom clothing, accessories, digital products From personal as well as business use And finally check out www.evolutionoflondon.store S-T-O-R-E There we have accessories Such as DVDs, lotions Shea butter, etc Clothing And we ship throughout North America Check out the company Royalty 9 International as luxury candles, they have scented as well as unscented candles, 12 ounce, 100% soy, soy wax, and basically the scented candles is from frankincense, myrrh, peppermint, eucalyptus, just to name a few, and shipped throughout North America, so definitely support www.royalty9international.com Also check out their social media Royalty 9 International on TikTok as well as Royalty 9 International on Instagram. Any business inquiries, questions, concerns, contact the company Royalty 9 International at gmail.com Music! Cheap Limousine Channel Cheap Limousine have a whole wide range of different beats as you listen to right now. And once you go to his YouTube page, you will see his other social media sites. So definitely like, subscribe, and share to Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And continue to train on YouTube. Check out Greatness 19 channel. That's our educational channel to open up your third eye. Close to 400 videos. So definitely we're on the road to 1K need 100 subscribers so definitely we need your support the road to 1k and also like subscribe and share to the greatness 19 channel the countries that we actually we expanded I, I mentioned previously that Malaysia and Norway is checking us out and I like to say thank you. Also check out our other YouTube channel, Mr. Evolution of London. So like, subscribe and share. That's our health and wellness channel. Wide range of different topics on health and wellness. So support that. Mr. Evolution of London, our health and wellness channel on YouTube. We have different links to other uh, profiles or uh, links to other affiliates, I should say. www.linktree.com forward slash evolution of London. Also, check out our Patreon channel videos that is now on YouTube, as well as digital products and consulting services. www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. Support Irie Bites. Irie Bites Cafe 
located in downtown London, Ontario. Their address is 91 Wellington Street North. Again, that's London, Ontario. Their telephone number is 519-858-4743. They open Monday and Tuesdays, 12 to 6, close on Wednesdays. Open up Thursdays through Saturdays, 12 to 6, and close on Sundays. They do, uh, they have Caribbean takeout throughout the downtown area. And also they do catering. Now, they accept all forms of payment, including Interact, MasterCard, Visa. And please note that taxes are not included. Check out their website, www.irebites.cea. That's I-R-I-E-B-I-T-E-S dot C-A. And for info, if any messages you want to contact them, info at irebites.ca. And again, it is delicious. And you can't go wrong. Mr. Will, he's been our fitness consultant and can be yours. If you want to email him, email him at healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com. That's healthfitnessconsultant1 at gmail.com or williesfitness99 at gmail.com. That's willies, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness. 99 at gmail.com and also support his merchandise www.wjaaccessories.org you have custom clothing accessories as well as digital products as well now the Oracle 19 is on all major platforms we on Google Apple Spotify Anchor.fm Amazon Music as well as what else we on? What's a company I, I mentioned previously? Um, oh, well, the tip of my tongue. Y'all guys probably know. Uh, the smaller uh, uh, social media sites we on, all major platforms. So definitely check that out. And you have any information I haven't mentioned in the description box. You can go to the Oracle 19 podcast, Mr. Evolution of London, the Greatness 19 channel, as well as www.theoracle19radio.com. And there will be another uh, business joining the family in about a week. So I'm just going to keep quiet on that until the week, about not... This Monday, the next Monday's show, and we will introduce our new business to the family. Again, we expand. So, again, can't go wrong. Now, today, I always give my perspective on different topics. And today, I'm going to talk about making money is important. That's something we we all know. Making money is important. And especially you men. But ladies is the same. You know, you have to, you know, we as people, and start off with that. We have to get on our grind. And I mentioned this on other shows. And this is not old hat for y'all guys. I know you understand this. But sometimes you need just a third party to just give you that extra push to go and grind. I know you got to wake up in the morning, some of you guys and ladies, of course. You know, you you don't want to get up in the morning. You know, you got to... It's Monday morning. And you got to get ready for work. And it's frustrating because you 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 not only physically tired, but it's more mental. And mental is just as powerful as physical. Getting up in the morning and you got to grind it out and then you got to deal with, you know, what's ahead. 
Yeah, it's hard. Especially in this day and time. Because you have to work to, of course, pay your electric, your gas bill, your mortgage, your, your, your rent, food, kids' expenses, your expenses, just miscellaneous stuff. And sometimes we feel the pressure. Not sometimes, a lot of times we feel the pressure. Put in a lot of hours. You know, I'm steady grinding, putting in a lot of hours. Just insanity. You know, but life is... Life is... Is a grind. It really is. What happened to the days when we was running around playing team tag? Sports such as baseball, football, basketball. Ladies was doing hopscotch or just playing tag. Or just sitting home. What happened to those days? That's long and gone. You in the workforce, baby. You in the workforce. Welcome to the age 2022. And we got to keep on grinding. And that makes it real tough. But you got to look... Look for what's your end game? That's the question. With making this money, what is your end game? You in the workforce? What are you trying to do? What position are you trying to be when you re- retire? What are you trying to do? What's your end game when you turn 65, 70, and ready for retirement? Have you thought about it? If you haven't, maybe you should. What it what you trying to do? That's a that's something you really should be thinking about. What's what's your end game? And you really need to think about that more sooner than later. Because there's a fast track out here in these streets. And what I mean by that is life is not slowing down. You're getting older by the by the second. What was Sunday? What is Monday? Today will never be the same ever again. You won't see the same day twice. You just have to wish for next Monday. Or next Tuesday. Or next Friday. You trying to enjoy the weekend. the, The two days that you have. Some of you. And some of you only have one day. Bless you. (laughs) But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You know, time, you have to maximize time. Time is, is, I mean, this, I call warp speed. It's, It's moving very fast. You really have to maximize your time. You're really going to have to concentrate on maximizing your time. Figuring out what is your end game. And putting things in motion. And stop procrastinating. You know, one of the biggest problems of us are we lazy. We're very lazy. And we're not proactive. And you're going to have to become more proactive out here in these streets. You, you maximize your job. You got to work. You got to pay bills. But what are you doing with that money? How are you turn it over to make it work for you? Are you investing in anything? Do you have any skills, natural skills, that you can, that you can create what they call a service? A cleaning business, a cooking business, a fixing business, like fixing computers. What is your what is your creativity level? What are you going to do to make life easier for you? What are you trying to put in motion now? That's my question from me to you. Have you thought about it? 
maybe you should think about it more. I think it's important. Don't let time slip by. Don't let time slide by and pass you by and you haven't set up an end game. Because then you're going to become old and bitter. And you don't want that. So, really start maximizing your time. Stop being distracted by your vices. Because when you start indulging in your vices, your vices are going to take up more time. That five minutes or ten minutes of vices that you partake, and I'm not going to get into the vices. You know the vices that you, should, you shouldn't be do- indulging. You know that. I'm not going to give you, this one I'm not going to give you a list. I'm going to let you figure it out. Your vices. The bad things that you know you should put aside. And take that same time and maximize it to something profitable. To potentially make you more money to be independent. Very important. The importance of making money in this capitalistic society. It's a cutthroat society here in North America. Is the haves and have nots to the highest degree with no mercy. Government have no mercy, no caring about you. It's the haves and have nots. And if you don't have it together, all well. <clears throat> That's how the system is built. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's how the system is built. It is what it is. It's not negotiable. So, it is important, the importance of making money. Very important. It's a tool. It's not something you should be worshipping. Don't get silly, really, and start worshipping. Because then that can take you to a dark hole as well. Just know it's important. Is a tool to get you where you need to be. A very important tool in this capitalistic society that we live in. And again, especially you men. That's also important. It's very important for you men to get things together. Especially in this climate we live in, this as hard as it is, there's there are more opportunities. I would say in a different way, uh, digital marketing is one. You know, you you can really stay home and make money from home and and be successful. Again, being successful is not a one, two, three. It takes a lot of work. I'm grinding as well. Putting in a lot of work. A lot of sleepless nights. A lot of sleepless days. And what are you going to do? As a man, you can't rely. Who are you going to rely on? You shouldn't have to rely on anyone. And nobody going to have sympathy for you men where ladies they're always going to get a a little landline a little help from somebody they, they're going to get a help for the most part there's exception to the rules but the system is going to help out women more than men welfare they cater to the women more than men can't go as a man if you're going on welfare as a man you're going to go through a lot of heartache because they're going to ask you a whole heap of questions but if you're a woman and especially if you have a woman you're a woman with children you know they're going to they're going to see you through maybe 
you might you'll get a helping hand from family, male or female. You get uh, females get handouts from boyfriends, ex-boyfriends, wannabe boyfriends. Ask some of the, a lot of the ladies on Instagram getting flown out to different locations or getting their bills paid. So women have a a lot easier. Heck, they could go on OnlyFans and show their feet and get paid from that. I can't show my feet and talk about I'm gonna get paid. I'm gonna live. I, I'm a. I'm a. I can. I can make money and I can quit just what I'm doing and just show my feet and get paid. But females can. It's called fetishes. Now, is the exception to the rules? Men, can men? Yeah, it's always exception to the rule. But for the most part, females have more opportunities to get their money. It is what it is. But men, you have to, you have to make money for yourself, for one. And also be in a dominant position where you don't have to rely on a woman to help you. You don't want to be that. I mentioned that on previous shows. That men, you don't want to sit and have to rely on a woman to feed you. Because you're definitely going to throw it in your face. You got to make money. And it's not about you being a millionaire. Don't think you have to be a millionaire or billionaire you gotta be filthy rich no you can live a comfortable life but be make money where you have a comfortable life where you pay you can comfortably pay your bills you can comfortably save your money and you can be in a dominant position where if anybody come into your life she just is an add on but you don't need her and that's the problem with you men. You're not making enough. Something, you know, my father and my uncles told me, you know, as a man, and especially if you're taking care of your family, if it means you got to get one job or two jobs or three jobs, if you married and you are living together, that's what they were referring to. You got to do whatever you got to do to feed your family and take care of yourself is non-negotiable. And now it's all, always stuck in my brain, even to this day. So you men out here, that's I see as a major problem with a lot of you men out here is you, you're not self-sufficient. Now, I know it's hard in these streets. I, I totally understand. But a lot of you men could do better. And you have to do better. You have to put yourself in that mind frame to go out here and get it. You really do. That, I mean, I, I can't speak for you. You, but I know I have that mindset. It's non-negotiable. If I don't do it, who will? That's how I look at it. And I'll be good goddamned <laughs> if I'm going to rely on a woman, you know, to feed me. Clove me. You might as well be a baby. You want her to, you want your woman to change your diapers to? Give you a bib to wipe the corners of your mouth? A lot of you men, I blame you. Because you're lazy. You're not proactive. Sometimes when you, when it get, and I know it gets tough. When you get tough, you got to, you have to get tougher. 
that means you got to go on overdrive to find a way. And what do I mean by that? Yeah, looking for a job is hard and a good paying job. You might have to, instead of sending two resumes out, you might have to triple up. You might have to send 20 a day. You might have to go walk the pavement to different jobs. You might need to deal with job agencies. You, why are you doing that? You figure out, create your own business temporarily, put money in your pocket. Sell donuts or sell, have a lemonade stand. I don't know. Just do something. Get the nickels, quarters, pennies. Dimes, you got to scrape and scratch. It's just not going to be handed to you. Especially you black men. I mean, it's just non-negotiable. You're going to have to go out and get it. You you have to. It's, non, it's not acceptable. You, you just, it's not going to be handed to you. You're going to definitely have to go out here and get it. And make it happen. So, that's very important. Making money is important. It's a tool. It's not something I repeat. In my opinion, that you should worship. Because that becomes evil, in my personal opinion. But you should understand it. Understand where you live. Understand the importance of it because of what the, the, the society that you live in. And you need to itemize in your brain what how much you need to make per month for your bills to be taken care of. Some people need to make two thousand a month. That will satisfy them. Some need five thousand a month. Know as a man how much you need to make. And also a woman, how much realistically you need to make. To make sure your bills pay. So be laser focused. And even if you got put in the work. Overtime or whatever. So you can make sure. You become in a better position. And then over time. You can ease up. And don't have to put in that work. Because maybe your, your side hustle. Your side business might trump over what you're doing now. That's the end game, right? Or at least one of the end games. So, in conclusion, what is your end game? What is your goals? Your financial goals in life? How much money you feel you need to make to be successful? What's your purpose in life? Is the people around you, your there? Is the people you you're around right now that are they your backbone or backbreaker? Are they helping you on your financial path, or are they taken away from you? These are the questions that you should ask yourself. That will help you in terms of making more money. Who are the people around you? Are they begging you for money all the time? Which is taking money out of your pocket on a regular basis? So how long are you going to keep giving them money? What's your end game? What are you trying to do? How long do you think it will take you to be successful, to be where you need to be? How much money you need when you retire to live comfortably? Are you going to open up a business? Are you going to invest money? What are you going to do? Do you need a financial advisor? Who you can turn to? You can turn to me. Nah, just joking. These are the questions you need to ask yourself. 
What say you? Thank you for listening.